Here they lay, soldiers, the adventurous, the bold of World War I, a pile of old but not forgotten Caribbean bones. Across the seas they came, to the motherland's aid, to fight for king and to fight for country, dreaming of returning heroes, bursting full of boastful stories to share, medals on lapels and pensions in their back pockets, families proud and happy to have them back, bodies and limbs intact. But they did not return. They did not survive. The harsh English temperature defeated them. Mumps and pneumonia ravished them. Their bodies unused to the wicked winter. And 19 strong and fit, healthy young black men fell and they 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 fell again. So here they lay in Seaford Cemetery with the smell of the sea and the prodding breeze, flesh, blood, veins, long dissipated. I wonder where their spirits live, here in the land that took their young breath or in their homeland, in the swing and the sway and the sway and the swing of the mango trees, in the thunder calls of the market ladies selling their spices and in the hysterical laughter of little children distantly related. In the lustrous sand squeezed in between sinking toes or in the frantic desperate howls of their mothers and loved ones when they found that they would not return. So here they lay. Caribbean soldiers from the British West Indian Regiment thousands and thousands and thousands of miles from home fighting for a country that was not theirs to fight 